we are in A Course in Miracles workbook for students, and we are on Part 1, Review 1, Lesson 58. These ideas are for review today. 1. Lesson 36. My Holiness Envelops Everything I See. From my holiness does perception of the real world come. Having forgiven, I no longer see myself as guilty. I can accept the innocence that is the truth about me. Seen through understanding eyes, the holiness of the world is all I see. For I can picture only the thoughts I hold about myself. Lesson 36, my holiness envelops everything I see. 2. Lesson 37, my holiness blesses the world. The perception of my holiness does not bless me alone. Everyone and everything I see in its light shares in the joy it brings to me. There is nothing that is apart from this joy because there is nothing that does not share my holiness. As I recognize my holiness, so does the holiness of the world shine forth for everyone to see. 3. Lesson 38. There is nothing my holiness cannot do. My holiness is unlimited in its power to heal because it is unlimited in its power to save. What is there to be saved from except illusions? And what are all illusions except false ideas about myself? My holiness undoes them all by asserting the truth about me. In the presence of my holiness, which I share with God himself, all idols vanish. 4. Lesson 39. My holiness is my salvation. Whoops. Since my holiness saves me from all the guilt, recognizing my holiness is recognizing my salvation. It is also recognizing the salvation of the world. Once I have accepted my holiness, nothing can make me afraid. And because I am unafraid, everyone must share in my understanding, which is the gift of God to me and to the world. 5. Lesson 40. I am blessed as a son of God. Herein lies my claim to all good and only good. I am blessed as a son of God. All good things are mine because God intended them for me. I cannot suffer any loss or deprivation or pain because of who I am. My Father supports me, protects me, and directs me in all things. His care for me is infinite and is with me forever. I am eternally blessed as His Son. I will read now from the commentary, a workbook companion, Commentaries on the Workbook for Students by Alan Watson and Robert Perry. Lesson 58, review of Lesson 36, My Holiness Envelops Everything I See. Lesson 37, My Holiness Blesses the World. Lesson 38, There is Nothing My Holiness Cannot Do. Lesson 39, my holiness is my salvation. And lesson 40, I am blessed as a son of God. Commentary. Innocence is the truth about me. I don't really believe that. I want to believe it, and I may say I believe it, but if I really believed it, I don't think I'd still be here. At the least, I would not be seeing the world the way I do because the way I see the world derives completely from the way I see myself. I can picture only thoughts about myself. So if I really believe that innocence is the truth about me, all I would see everywhere is, in it, is innocence, holiness. 
This is why accepting the atonement for myself saves the world. If I can accept my own innocence, all I will see is innocence. We often allow confusion to come into our minds about who forgives whom first. Do I forgive others and then see my own innocence, or do I forgive myself, thus allowing me to see others as innocent? The answer to both questions is yes. How can both questions be answered yes? because myself and others are not really two, we are one. The sin I see in others is always my own, projected from my mind. When I forgive others, I really am forgiving my own sins. Any act of forgiveness, whether directed outward or inward, results in everyone being forgiven. Thus, when I perceive my own holiness, I bless the entire world. The holiness I see in myself when I see it is something shared by everyone. As my own innocence arises in my mind, the holiness of the entire world shines forth simultaneously. Innocence or holiness is a central theme of the Course. Everyone has a special part to play in the Atonement, but the message given each one is always the same. God's Son is guiltless, but the content of the universal course never changes, whatever its form. Its central theme is always God's Son is guiltless, and in His innocence is His salvation. It is a message of radical innocence, total innocence, universal innocence, with no one and nothing left out. No one is condemned. No one is judged guilty no one is damned. Recognizing my holiness is recognizing my salvation. It is also recognizing the salvation of the world. As a son of God, I am holy and thus I am blessed. But if I am a son of God, so are you, so is everyone, because I am a son of God, not by any merit of my own, not by any achievement that distinguishes me from anyone else but simply due to the fact that God created me holy. As I recognize this fact about myself, I must include everyone. God created, or I am excluded with everyone. I'm sorry, I kind of paused there. I must include everyone God created, or I am excluded with everyone. My claim on innocence and on all good and only good lies in the fact that I am a son of God. God willed good things for me, and so I must have them, not because I earn them in any way, but because He wills to give them. His care for me is infinite and is with me forever. I am eternally blessed as His Son. It does not matter what I think about myself or how badly I may believe I have screwed things up. I am still His Son. I am still innocent. I am still holy. Remember this, whatever you think about yourself, whatever you may think about the world, your Father needs you and will call you until you come to Him in peace at last. Have faith in only this one thing and it will be sufficient. God wills you be in heaven and nothing can keep you from it or it from you. Your wildest misperceptions, your weird imaginings, your blackest nightmares all mean nothing. They will not prevail against the peace of the peace God wills for you. Lesson 58. Thank you for joining with me. I love you.